Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 5th through the 11th of December, 2021. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and I hope you have had a good week. I do want to take just a second, Virgo, to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. And if you find that is the situation for you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate just a little better. Um, also, keep in mind, in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not at all unusual. Um, if you'd like a private reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. All right, so let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Virgo, please? Virgo. All right. So, Virgo, you start out with the Knight of Cups. We have the Empress in reverse. And we have the Lovers. Wow. Okay. All right. So, Virgo, I feel like um, with the Empress in reverse here, there is perhaps a bit of insecurity that you might be dealing with. Or it could be that there is... Um, a situation that is making you feel less than appreciated. Um, perhaps the connection that you are in is not being, you, you may feel you're not being treated um, in the best manner possible here, and therefore the situation may not be growing as a result of that. Um, I would encourage you, Virgo, not to take that on yourself because, you know, um, the way, so if somebody doesn't see your value, Virgo, it's not, it's not a reflection of your value. It's just their inability to see that value. So, you know, be aware of that. And I know most of you probably are, but I do feel that somebody needed to hear that. Now, with the lovers, you could be dealing with somebody here that is, um, there's a choice between two people. Or it might just be that you have a very big choice in love here. Knight of Cups does indicate that you are either hoping to give or hoping to receive um, some offer of love. I will say that this situation that is causing the um, feelings of insecurity or lack of growth here is associated with, um, vibrationally, I can see it's associated with this choice though. Um, there seems to be something that is somehow lower vibrational with that. It's not as um, light. It's a heaviness to that. So let's see who you are dealing with. Who is Virgo dealing with? All right. We have the paranormal. Now, this is one of the one of two cards which is particular to this deck. We have the magician, and we have the eight of swords. All right. So, I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, um, there is something here that they are really trying to figure out, um, and in fact, they're constantly thinking about it. There's almost like a obsessive quality to their thoughts. They, whatever this is that they're trying to figure out, it's constantly on their mind, constantly on their mind. Um, there is a sense here of them trying to manifest something with you as well, but there's something they're trying to figure out. It feels like it might be the nature of this connection, but there is a sense of obsession that's, that's present here. Let's look at the let's look at the energy of the connection itself. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so Virgo, that's your energy there. It is Earth sign energy. It is in the reverse. Um, there's an indication here that um, you may not be want you may not be in the best. Um, mood or feeling with this connection here. Um, king and Queen of Pentacles is my committed um, King and Queen. 
In the reverse, that does indicate a lack of commitment. It indicates um, not wanting to be in a connection. So there may be a lack of commitment within this connection at the current time. Um, being a card that does also indicate your energy, I feel like you may not be um, feeling as good about this connection. So it is being affected by the High Priestess in the reverse. So some kind of information here that may have come out something that was being kept secret, um, something that um, was revealed. Hmm. It's affecting this connection. It's what's causing you to feel this um, lack of enthusiasm for the connection. Let's see the outcome. I also feel that um, someone in this connection is not really using their intuition. the outcome at the end of the week, please. Show me the outcome. Three of Cups reversed. Yeah. So there, there's a lack of happiness here at the end of the week. Um, underlying energy, we have Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so the underlying energy here is one of trying to overcome the problems that are present. So that's a good energy. Um, you definitely want it in the reverse if you're trying to overcome them. So I feel like um, there are a lot of problems here. Both parties perhaps trying to overcome the problems. Um, let's figure out what's going on. So let's clarify. One is another cut too. Yeah, there's that lack of appreciation again. We have the Four of Cups, so I'm seeing that again. And then with the Emperor in reverse. So now we have the Emperor, we have the Empress. Um, this could be a spiritual connection. Um, with both the Emperor and the Empress in reverse, though, I feel like there's some kind of a karmic lesson that is taking place here. There is love in this connection, but I, I feel like, Virgo, that you may be kind of bored with this connection, to be honest with you. There's also, there's a feeling here that you, you may not feel appreciated in this connection, which is causing you to feel bored. Um, there's a sense here that if, if this is a spiritual connection, there's a sense here that I get that whoever is the feminine energy is feeling bored with the connection because they feel that the masculine energy is not taking charge of this connection and is not appreciating the connection. Um, why is the Empress in reverse? Hmm. All right, we have the King of Cups, water sign energy. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, and we have the High Priestess. Okay, so now we have the High Priestess in reverse directly affecting the connection. So I feel like, especially if you're dealing with a water sign here, um, somebody was keeping secrets. Uh, yeah, it, it feels as if someone was keeping secrets, and those secrets cause a lack of growth within this connection. Those secrets have either come out or they will. Why is the lovers here? King of Wands. Fire Energy. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so looking at all the options before taking action. So this is a big decision that's being made here. Someone is making a big decision. It's either you or it's the other person. Um, I feel like it's you, Virgo. So someone is, is really looking at all the different options and then deciding um, what is going to be the best course of action here before taking action. 
and it's because there's been a lack of growth here. This lack of growth is because of secrets that have been kept. Secrets in love. And I feel that, um, I feel like you're bored. You're bored with this, this uh, connection. Because you feel as if this person needs to take charge of the connection. They're not really understanding this connection. Not really giving it the proper respect. And I feel like you may be bored with the connection as a result, Virgo. All right, so let's look at their energy. Um, they have the paranormal, which does indicate that they are really looking deep. This person might be even getting um, a tarot reading. They might be um, seeking, you know, spiritual guidance for this. And why? Well, because there is a sense here of them absolutely being obsessed with trying to figure this out. Now, it's clarified with temperance in reverse, and we have the king of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so we have both the king and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. We have the empress and the emperor in the reverse. So again, we're seeing this karmic connection here. Now, the emperor... In, I mean, the king of uh, pentacles in the reverse, again, indicates the potential of a divorce or ending of a connection. So, there is a imbalance. This person is trying to figure out why there's such an emotional imbalance. They're also trying to figure out, um, it could be they're trying to figure out why you might be trying, because this is earth sign energy, why you might be wanting to end things. Um, and I feel like there's a sense also of impatience and, you know, wanting to heal this, wanting to heal the connection. There is an absolute obsession about it, though. Um, why is the magician here? And I also think that this person is definitely seeking, you know, guidance, but seeking it through through means of perhaps a psychic or tarot readings or some other spiritual means. Oh, they're they're trying to manifest a new beginning. Ace, oh wow. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so Virgo. This person, this is what they're this is what they're manifesting. They're trying to go um, from a new beginning into marriage. This person, it, they're manifesting a new beginning with you so that they can have marriage. They're very, they very much want to, to be with you. They're obsessed with you. Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Let me turn these over. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The moon, knight of wands in reverse. So they're worried about a secret. The secret has to do um, with some behavior that um, may have been some player type behavior. Um, it's whatever the secret is. So I'm keep, I keep seeing this secret here. So they're, they're worried about something here. It has to do with a secret. A secret, and it has that secret has to do with somebody who was a player but is no longer. And it's whatever this is, is not being, it's a secret that's not being told. This secret is being kept quiet. It's not being told. But they're trying to manifest a new beginning and love. So... They're, this person I'm telling you is they're they're deep into this connection. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? And if there was a breakup, they want to heal it. Page of Wands and the Devil. Yeah. Okay, so it's an attachment that they can't explain. If this is a spiritual connection, 
Um, they can't explain it. They're trying to figure it out, why they keep returning back to this connection. Um, they may, the energy may have been one that they, it's been an on again, off again connection. This is why they're trying to figure this out. This is why they can't figure out and why they can't let it go. So it, it's a, a connection that they can't quite explain why they're so attached to it. Um, I do see that there's going to be communication with this page of wands here. Um, but I also see that your energy here is not, you're not as, um, your energy has kind of been dampened. It's been pulled back. Why is the high priestess here in reverse? Why is the high priestess in reverse? That's a high priestess. Okay. All right. We have the six of coins and we have the lovers. Now you have the lovers in your energy. Okay. So this is what's directly affecting the connection. So with the six of coins, I feel like there is this energy of someone who is breadcrumbing. You may feel that you've been breadcrumbed, Virgo, that this person was in and out, in and out. They may have had a choice between two people. Um, I feel like this is what's going to, to be discussed. And I feel like um, there's going to be, there's definitely, you're looking at all the different options here. And I feel like you have options as well. I feel like you have many different options. So... With the lovers here, this person is um, being divinely guided back to you. Um, I feel like neither of you are really listening to your intuition as deeply as you can. But I also feel like the secret, whatever is being kept, whatever is being kept and not discussed, not talked about, that is what's going to directly affect this conversation and this this connection it looks to me as if you're going to talk to this person about the fact that they have been erratic in their attention that they breadcrumbed you some of them have been giving their attention to more than one connection i think you're going to call them out on that but what they're going to be discussing with you is that they don't understand this connection they can't figure out why there's such a deep attraction why they keep coming back to you and that I think they're, they're going to be at the point that they feel that they also need to make a decision. Um, let's look at the outcome. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Now, this is for the, the weekly. So, it's short term. So, if you um, think of it, it's like whatever this is, is in progress. All right, we have the two of coins. There is that seven of rods again. That's your underlying energy. Both of them are in reverse. And we have the four of coins reverse. So by the end of the week, I do see the two of you still not really happy with the situation, but overcoming these problems, beginning to overcome the problems. I do see communication happening. Um, beginning to open up a little bit, and I also see that neither of you are really happy with the situation, but overcoming the problems. I'm looking at you kind of trying to balance things out, weighing the pros and cons, and really, you know, in decision-making mode, Virgo. Um, the person you're connected with, they're beginning to become less guarded, and they're beginning to open their heart a little bit. They're starting to let go of this guardedness and, you know, all the stuff that they have been holding on to, including whatever these secrets are. So I feel like they're kind of letting go. They're kind of opening up and, and letting down their guard. So, you know, this looks to me like a situation where the two of you are, you know, this is 
likely a spiritual connection and the two of you are beginning to finally overcome some problems your person looks to be going through an awakening bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords which further tells me that this person is likely going through a, a awakening perhaps even a dark night of the soul um because that is a a card of anxiety it's a card of you know just trying to <laughs> trying to overcome anxiety, overcome all the the anxiousness. That's what they're going to be releasing and letting go of. And I I think they can't figure out why this connection just keeps drawing them back. There's a lot of karmic issues between the two of you that also are being worked through and released too. So I'm going to pull some oracle cards um, for each of you and the connection as well and see if there's any more, you know, word that we have from Spirit on that. Okay. All right. So for you, Virgo, we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world um you know honestly this card does show two people and normally i would read this as two people retreating together but i really feel that this is you kind of pulling back and retreating because i definitely feel that your energy here is one that you're kind of retreating right now you're kind of pulled back from this person even if just temporarily um so I feel like you're kind of retreating and pulling your energy back. For the person that you are connecting with, um, it says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this person might be needing to release someone else that is in their life. If that is the case, I do see that happening because, um, you know, they are releasing things that are no longer serving them. Um, you will be hearing about that more towards the end of the week. So for those of you that that is the case, um, I see that happening. And for the connection itself, we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So go ahead and express yourself. Okay. And that goes for both parties. All right. I hope this has been helpful, Virgo. Um, it's a nice reading. I think it's a, a relationship that is working through some karmic issues here and does look like a spiritual connection. So I hope it's been helpful. If you would, like and share the video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, um, I hope you will do so. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to drop a comment, please do. I read all your comments. So until I see you next week, namaste.